In this problem, it is given that the area of a rectangle is 27 square centimeters and the length is 4.5 centimeters. And we have to figure out what the width of this rectangle is. So to try to figure out what we have to do to solve this problem, I am going to start by drawing a rectangle. And in the center, I'm going to write the area, which is 27 square centimeters. And then I'm going to label the length of the rectangle, which is four and a half centimeters. And one thing we know about area is that whatever the length is times the width will produce the area of the rectangle. Now we already know what the area is. The area is 27, so I'm going to substitute that in for the A. And we know that's going to be equal to the length of four and a half being multiplied by whatever the width is. To figure out the width of this rectangle, we are going to have to take its area and divide it by its length. A quick way to demonstrate this concept is by taking an easy example, such as a rectangle that has the dimensions two by four, and writing the area of that rectangle, which would be eight in the middle, and pretending we did not know the width of that rectangle. So if you are ever given the area, you can just divide it by the one given dimension to figure out what the unknown dimension is. So in this case, eight divided by two would give us four. And you would do the same thing even if one of the dimensions was a mixed number. So what we're gonna do is take the area of 27 and divide it by four and a half. The next thing that we are going to do is express our whole number as a fraction, which would be 27 over 1. And we have to rename our mixed number as an improper fraction. The denominator is a 2, so that will remain the same. And for the numerator, we do 2 times 4, which is 8, and add 1. And that gives us 9. The second step is to keep the first fraction the same change the division sign to multiplication, and write the reciprocal of 9 halves, which would be 2 ninths. Next, I'm going to use cancellation to reduce this problem. And I can see that 9 can go into 27 and into 9. 9 goes inside 9 exactly one time, and 9 can be divided into 27 a total of three times. So that leaves us with 3 times 2 for the numerator, and that gives us 6. And for the numerator, we have 1 times 1, which is, of course, 1. And 6 over 1, or 6 divided by 1, may be expressed as 6 wholes. So we would say that the width of this rectangle is equal to 6 centimeters. Let's do another example involving fraction division. This problem reads that Dean has a piece of wood that is 7 eighths of a foot in length. He needs to cut pieces that are 1 16th of a foot long. How many pieces can Dean cut from his piece of wood? In the problem, it says that we have to cut pieces, and that is a clue that we are dealing with division. So we have to start with the object that's being cut up, which in this case is the piece of wood that is 7 eighths of a foot in length. So we have to start by writing 7 eighths, and we have to divide that by 1 16th. Because what we are trying to do is figure out how many groups of 1 16th, or pieces of wood that are 1 16th of a foot in length, can we cut from a piece of wood that is 7 eighths of a foot in length. So after you have set up your problem, rewrite the first fraction exactly as is, change your sign to multiplication, and write the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we change 1 16th to 16 over 1. Next, find one numerator and one denominator that share a common factor. In this case, we could recognize that 8 and 16 share a common factor of 8. 8 goes into itself once, and 8 can be divided into 16 twice. Next, we multiply 
the remaining numerators to get our numerator. 7 times 2 is 14. And the denominators have a product of 1. And any numerator divided by 1 will be that numerator. So 14 divided by 1 is 14. So we can get 14 pieces of wood that are 1 16th of a foot in length from a piece of wood that is 7 eighths of a foot in length. In this problem, it reads that Francine has a strip of paper that is 2 and 3 quarters of an inch in length. Francine needs to cut the strip into pieces that are 1 eighth of an inch in length. How many pieces can she cut from her original strip? So in the problem, we see the word cut, which is a tip that this is a division problem. So we have to start with the total that is being cut up, which is 2 and 3 quarters. And we have to see how many pieces of paper can we get out of this total piece that are 1 eighth of an inch in length. Now we have to take this mixed number and rewrite it as an improper fraction. So the 4 will remain the same. For the numerator, we multiply 4 times 2, which is 8, and add 3 to that, and that would give us 11. And next, we are going to change the division sign to multiplication and flip the second fraction. So we're going to write the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8 over 1. And I can see that we have an 8 and a 4 that may be canceled out because they share a common factor of 4. 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 can be divided into 8 twice. For the numerators, we have 11 times 2, and that is 22. And for the denominator, we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And 22 divided by 1 is equal to 22. So we could say that we could get 22 pieces of paper that are an eighth of an inch in length out of a strip that is two and three quarters of an inch in length. This problem says that Tia has two thirds of an hour to complete her essay. If it takes Tia one ninth of an hour to write a paragraph, how many paragraphs can she complete in the time she has left? The first thing that we should understand about this problem is that the total amount of time that Tia has to work with is two-thirds of an hour. So that is the total that we are going to divide up. And we want to see how many times one-ninth can fit inside that total amount of time. And this time period here, one-ninth of an hour, represents one paragraph. So basically we are seeing how many times or paragraphs can be produced in the time period two-thirds of an hour. So we are going to start with two-thirds and divide that by one ninth. The next thing we do is keep the first fraction, change the division sign to multiplication, and write the second fraction as its reciprocal, which would be nine over one. Nine and three share a common factor of three, so we can divide three into itself once, and three into nine three times. That leaves us with the two numerators, two and three, which produces 6, and the denominators have a product of 1. And 6 divided by 1 is equal to 6. So we would say that in 2 thirds of an hour, Tia would be able to produce 6 paragraphs. Another way to solve this problem is by writing this out on a number line. So what I'm going to do here is draw a number line and start here at 0. And then I'm going to count by ninths. So this is going to represent one ninth. This will be two ninths, three ninths, four, five, six, seven, eight, and of course nine ninths. And that would be equal to one whole. Now let's label these. This was one ninth. This was two ninths, and this is three ninths, which can also be represented as one third. 
So it's four knights, five knights, six knights, which can be reduced to two thirds, seven knights, eight knights, and nine knights, which is, of course, one whole. So we're trying to see how many pieces of time. So we are trying to see So what we're trying to do is figure out how many times one ninth can fit inside two thirds. Well, each increment here represents one ninth. So from here to here is a distance of one ninth, and that represents one paragraph being completed. So every time we make a jump here, that represents one paragraph. So this is one paragraph, two paragraphs, three paragraphs, four, five, six. And we stopped right here because we were seeing how many times one ninth could fit inside two thirds, or how many groups of one ninth would make two thirds. So if we were to add up one ninth six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, six ninths is the same thing as two thirds. Or we could just say that it took six groups of these to produce two thirds. For this problem, we got to figure out what is three quarters divided by one eighth. So we can start by writing our problem out like this. Next, we rewrite 3 fourths exactly as it is, change division to multiplication, and write 1 eighth as its reciprocal, which is 8 over 1. Now, let's say you happen to not notice that you can cancel out some numbers here. You may certainly just multiply the numerator straight across to get your numerator, and do the same with the denominators, and 4 times 1 is 4. And if you end up with an improper fraction, you have to simplify. And you do that by dividing the numerator by the denominator. And 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. So that means that it would take 6 groups of 1 eighth to make 3 fourths. And we can use the number line shown to demonstrate this concept. So we can see that from 0 to 1 eighth is one group of 1 eighth. And we want to see how many groups of 1 eighth it would take to make 3 fourths, which is located right here. So this is one group of 1 eighth, two groups, three groups, four, five, and six groups of 1 eighth to produce 3 quarters. In this problem, it reads that Tiana and three of her classmates are equally sharing 3 quarters of a package of pencils. What fraction of the package will each classmate receive? After reading this problem, we can infer that this is a division problem because the students are dividing up the pencils. Now, the amount that you write first is very important. You should always write the total that is being divided up first. And it is the pencils that are being divided up. So we have to start by writing 3 fourths and those pencils are being divided by the classmates. And in the problem, it states that there are four classmates, Tiana and three of her friends. So we had to add that one person with the three classmates. So we are going to write four as a fraction, and that is written as four over one. Next, we rewrite the first fraction exactly as it is, change the division sign to multiplication, and we flip the second fraction. Next, we multiply the numerators together. 3 times 1 is 3, and the denominators have a product of 16. 3 sixteenths is a fraction that cannot be reduced any further, so that is our answer. We would say that each person would get 3 sixteenths of a package. This problem states that Jordan owns a frozen yogurt shop. Each scoop of frozen yogurt 
is two-thirds of a cup. Each container of frozen yogurt contains 40 cups. If Jordan sells each scoop for $4, how much will he earn from each container of frozen yogurt? So the first thing we have to do is figure out how many scoops can we get out of the container that is 40 cups. After we figure out how many scoops that are two-thirds of a cup that we can get out of a container that is 40 cups, we have to take that total number and multiply that by $4. So let's see how many scoops we can get out of a container that is 40 cups. First, we have to write 40 because that is the total. We are dividing that container up into scoops that are each two-thirds of a cup. So we are going to take 40 and divide that by two-thirds. Remember, it is the fraction written after the division sign that we are trying to fit inside the first number. So this represents one scoop, and we are figuring out how many of these scoops we can fit inside 40. Next, we write 40 as a fraction, and that would be 40 over 1. We rewrite the division sign as multiplication and write 2 thirds as 3 over 2. In this problem, I can see that we have a number at the top and the bottom that are both even, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel both of those out and divide each of those numbers by 2. 2 goes into 2 once and 2 goes into 40 20 times. So on the top, that leaves us with 20 times 3, which is 60, and on the bottom we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And 60 divided by 1 is 60. Now this is not our answer yet. This just tells us how many scoops we can get out of a container that is 40 cups if each scoop is two-thirds of a cup. And because each scoop is $4, we simply multiply the 60 scoops by $4. And 60 times $4 is equal to $240.